guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dee, Dee and I'm here with another DIY for you guys recently I moved in with my boyfriend and I wanted to make her space really warm and welcoming so I decided to do a picture wall full of friends full of family full of joy nice warm and welcoming and if you guys want to know exactly how I did that please stay tuned for the rest of this video <laughs> went well it's too close so I went to the dollar store I bought a ruler for about a dollar because I want to make sure that the space between each frame is exactly the way I want it to be so I purchased these frames from the dollar store each frame was about a dollar this is the best deal that I could possibly find honestly I thought about buying them in bulk but like everything I was looking for online was just really expensive and then I didn't know what sizes they would come in or how that how big that size would be so I thought I would go to the dollar store myself and purchase the frames this is how it looks like it has a little border it's a four by six it has a little thing in the back to be able to stand it up but I don't need that and it has little hooks but I don't think I need that either but we're gonna make this work we're gonna figure it out one way or another but this is what my frames are looking like and these are what I'm going to be using. This is the whole box of them. I bought about 20 because I have 20 pictures. Like, I basically bought the whole damn store. But, yeah, the, there's so much more where that comes from. Like, I thought there would be limited amounts of frames. There's so many frames at the dollar store, so many sizes, etc. So, if you need a cheap frame, sis, go get you some from the dollar store. Um, there's so many options for printing pictures honestly if you want your picture your pictures printed the cheapest alternative is Walmart if there's a Walmart near you have all your pictures either email to yourself or on a thumb drive or on an SD card format it the way you want them to be take it to Walmart and print them there physically or you can put an order in online via walmart.com in their photo center and you can have it printed and shipped to your house the way you want it exactly but Lucky for me, I had ink in my printer and I had this photo gloss printer paper that came free with the ink that I purchased, so it was a blessing. I was able to print my pictures myself. This is the Canon Pixma. So when I purchased ink for my printer, it came with these um, these uh, glossy photo uh, printing paper and it came with a bunch of them, honestly. I don't think I even used half, so... This is what I use to print in my print. So you want to start by taking the frame out of the plastic. I've already done that with one of them, like you can see here. I have it framed already. That's me and my cousin. So you want to start by taking the stuff out of the frame. I've already done that with one of them. As you can see here, I've already framed one of them. So it's already ready. And here you go. This is the paper that comes with it. This is just like a little backing. So guys, you're gonna take this paper that came in the frame and you're gonna use this to basically map out how you want it to be placed on a wall. And you just need a little bit of tape and you're gonna put it on the wall and I'll show you guys exactly how that looks. You wanna put the tape directly in the back of this so that you're not covering where you should be hanging up, but like literally right in the back of it. I'll show you guys that in the next clip. Okay guys, as you can see here, I'm taking some tape I'm sticking it to the back of the paper and then I'm sticking it on the wall right next to each other and at the exact height that I want it to be at. So I just kind of use a ruler to try and measure but honestly after a while I just kind of started eyeballing everything and backing up and trying to make it as stable or as even as possible. Um, so honestly it doesn't matter as long as it looks like a symmetrical if you want it to be very professional, then I suggest getting one of those leveling and measuring devices from Home Depot that has the little red light. But honestly, you can just eyeball it and just follow the line of every other picture um, directly just to make it even and step back just to keep taking a look and measuring how far apart they are.
So as you saw earlier, I was using tape to try and secure the picture frame exactly where it is. That is also always an option. Okay guys, as you can see, I am moving along quite nicely with the picture wall and this is the final product. Um, I did my best with it. It's not perfect, but it is nice and cozy. Thank you for tuning into this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.